You know I'm turning the AC off at the last minute because it's fucking hot in LA. Hi guys, I'm Stevie and I am dating people. And it pisses me off that everyone assumes I'm good in bed. So I'm making this video so that when I match with someone on a dating app and they Google me, this will be what they click on. Hi. Oh, fuck. This is a terrible idea. So there are lots of reasons that people assume certain things about me and anyone else, right? But I think the biggest reason people assume I'm good in bed is because I'm a sex educator. Like, because I know what a vulva is and I can fill out the parts on a diagram, it magically means that every vulva I ever meet, <laughs> meet, hi, nice to meet you, vulva, okay. It does not mean that I will magically know how every single vulva I ever meet wants, <laughs> I can't say. It doesn't mean I'll know how every vulva needs to be touched or squeezed or petted or whatever. What, no, see, look, I'm not even good at this. Petted? Another thing that happens is people immediately assume that I know everything about sex and then they get intimidated and then they don't want to have sex with me. The fuck, right? And then I started noticing something lately which made me want to make this video. My friends started to be like ashamed about how they perform in the bedroom because they think I'm like like a sex goddess or something. Babies. Just because I'm kinky doesn't mean that I have better sex than you. And by the way, you definitely don't have to be kinky to be valid. You don't even have to ever have sex to be valid. Comparison helps no one. Let's just share all the secrets and tips and tricks and what we like and we can find each other interesting and funny stories. You know what I mean? Let's just, everybody just chill and stop comparing. And what the f is going on that people think I'm good in bed so then they don't want to have sex with me, but like, I'm really good in bed, so. Like, I'm not gonna deny that I think I'm good in bed. You know what I mean? Because the reason that I think I'm good in bed is the only way to be bad in bed is if you think you're doing a good job when you aren't. And it's not that hard. Ready? This is what you do. All you have to do is be like, what do you like? And they'll be like, stroke my titty like this. And then you stroke the titty like this. And they'll be like, I like this so much. You're so good in bed. See? It's not that hard. I'm good in bed because I talk to people about what they like and enjoy before, during, and after, and ask for feedback. Some people find it annoying that I talk so much in bed, I'm gonna be honest. But like, sex is supposed to be fun, and I just can't stop talking. And like, what about jokes, you know what I mean? Like, I'm if I'm not laughing, maybe I'm not having a, I mean, sometimes when I'm not laughing, I'm having a really good time. This, I'm nervous to make this video now that I ad-libbed in the beginning that this is for all the people I might go on dates with I'm like <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't experience nervousness or embarrassment what are you talking about so I just ask for consent before I do things I don't like know the 12 tantric orgasms or whatever and people really think that I'm just like having sex all day every day or like have a really high sex drive and like I'm attracted to like every woman I ever meet which like is real not true. I have a lot of physical pain and a lot of sexual trauma, which affect both my desire and my ability for sex all day every single day, which would literally never happen. I mean, I'm not here to slut shame anyone. Like if you have sex all day every day, high five. Do, do you never have to go to work or like? So I went on a first date with a girl who on the first date said that she looked at my videos and was so excited to try butt stuff with me. First of all, bold. Bold of you to assume we're fucking. And bold of you to assume that because I'm trying to normalize butt stuff, you think I want to do it. Specifically with you. <laughs> Here's a secret. I've never tried butt stuff. Also, if you want to try something for the first time, what you're looking for is not a sex educator. What you're looking for is a sex worker. Yay. Like you don't take someone on a first date and like just assume they're gonna teach you how to fuck. Like what? You hire someone whose whole job is that, and then you pay them to teach you the thing that you negotiated beforehand. But also I loved that they told me what they were interested in and what they wanted to do, because like, honestly, that's my kink. So like, I, I was only half mad, you know? Honesty is my kink. One of them. 
You know what I mean? I need to stop saying blah, blah, blah is my kink because then people will think that that's what I mean when I say I'm kinky. <laughs> it's not what I mean. Also, it fucking sucks because I'm such a slut and I don't even have that much sex. But I still identify as a slut. And then people will be like, oh, you're a slut. So that means we're going to have sex every night. And I'm like, ha ha, no, don't touch me. It's hard out here for a traumatized lesbian sex educator. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, I'm really good in bed. So does that mean this title is clickbait? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week where I redo my fingering video because I learned more and I want to change it. Bye. Also follow me on Instagram and um, check out my Patreon in the description if you want to support me making more of these videos. Okay, love you, bye.